Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Yishien, the auto battling deck builder that has consumed my mind. We are going to be popping back in with Zhang Shi Ming here in the Heptastar Pavilion. As per usual, I will say, definitely a faction I'm least comfortable with. However, what I am comfortable with is degenerate meme builds, and that is what I'm going to try and do here today. There is a deck that is lovingly referred to as the Exodia deck with this guy, which in the perfect in the perfect version in the perfect world of it means that the enemy doesn't really get to play. Like they get to play about 3 or 4 cards and then you make them lose their turns forever. So, that's the dream. That's the dream. It involves uh, the, this character's unique card that makes the enemy skip one turn. It involves Strike Twice, which lets you double the next card that gets played, which you will then, obviously, you can put two and two together there. You will double them skipping a turn, making them skip two turns, and then you hopefully have been cycling through your deck nice and clean uh, after that. Uh, but, yeah. Ooh, we got the start. We got the trade. Ooh, we got the start, the trademark start. That's a pretty strong start, and this character gets uh, one free cultivation, so uh, nobody else can really outspeed him. I think Long Yao can, but uh, nobody in this lobby can outspeed him. In we go there. Tony the Tiger. This is being recorded the day that I put out the Tony the Tiger video where I went on record saying that I do think it's the most overpowered deck right now. Well, I don't know if it's the most overpowered deck, but it's the most easy to activate overpowered deck, I'd say. You know, it's really easy to, uh, to, to pilot, right? It's... You know, it's tough to counter. It's counter rubble, but it's tough to counter. It has been slightly nerfed since uh, that day, which is actually pretty nice. Not that much, and definitely not enough to make it not good. Uh, so Painter is going to be required for this deck to work. That I know. Um, this is awkward. You never really want to run Incessant last. Okay, well, now we can run it first again. <laughs> easy come, easy go. We got enough Chi to run dotted around. I am going to stay Tier 1 until I get Gold dotted around and Astro move flank. It's just kind of... It's just kind of what you do with this guy, if you can. Like, if you are quasi-lucky enough, uh, you just do it. So I'm going to... Bare minimum, I'm going to roll down before breaking through next round. Uh, and I potentially might even stay Tier 1 another round after that. Like, I think that this uh, this start is strong enough to um, kind of allow that. The fact that I healed up to uh, enough to absorb this is really helpful. Because it means I win. That's why, that's why Incessant is decent. Running it first, quite decent. Uh, give me another Incessant. Do not level up. Actively don't want to. Uh, hello? See, just because I have two, it makes it tempting to go for. I mean, we can run another Grinding Ink just to sort of bide some time here. Do we have Hexagram? We don't. Um, how are you looking? That's... There's no fluff there. That is a pretty scary looking deck. Uh, but I'm going to bank on the fact that I'm going first and the fact that I hit... Uh, the incessant and the dotted around and say that I hope that is just enough, right? Because I want to stick here. If I could get another incessant, that's cool as well, I suppose. Uh, but ultimately, I want most importantly, I think, is actually tier 3 dotted around. Gaining an extra star power. Two star power on a card that's ultimately a setup, a setup chi card is really nice. Astral move flank, though, it's kind of a... I don't know. I think it's gently overtuned. I think it should maybe do, like, 7-6. I don't think it's, like, crazy overtuned, but... Okay, me too. Do we live this? If we live this, I think we're... Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, my God, the extra... 
the extra there. Uh, so what do we want? None of these are cards that help us with the build I'm looking for. Uh, unfortunately. Extra rerolls are great. Shifting stars is not bad. I guess we're running an empty. Actually, we don't have to. Yeah, actually, we do have to. Uh, whenever you add a hexa hexagram, if your star power is zero, then add a star power. Beginning a battle, add a chi. Um, you know what? Let's do that. Not really for now, but for later. I do hate that I'm running an empty. Like, I could combine these, but I think it's a mistake. I hate that I'm running an empty, but I got, I got the two golds I was looking for, so it's kind of hard to be upset. I'm not going to just not take those. Well, two of two golds that I was looking for. Also, we have exact lethal anyway, so who gives a darn? Oh, we have more than that, actually. Because the normal attack got uh, buffed up. Yo, the Lily is actually good here. We could totally run Spiro's Tail, but we don't have the Hexagram to activate it. Still 10 damage. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't need it. So I'm running this hexagram list because it just does more than uh, tier 1 grinding ink anyways. And I know grinding ink technically doesn't cost chi, but we also don't care if it costs chi, right? But ultimately, what do we need to make this build work? Uh, there's a reason we went painter, and that reason is... Uh, mostly Flying Brush. It's a kind of a busted card. If I'm gonna be honest, kind of a busted card. Um, it lets you really be a lot more malleable with how you chase. It's, it's so, so nice. Like, it's a chase card that you can chase into. So if we can get that, what you do is you typically run Flying Brush before Strike Twice before your final slot. So you go Flying Brush, and then on the next turn, you strike twice into your final card, which is nuts. Oh no, you lucky duck. That, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're taking the stall comp to a whole new level. You're not attacking me. This person is really like, oh my God, what a, wow. That is devotion to the craft of tomfoolery. That is for sure. I think I'd rather run this. Uh, I'm also going to break through and take uh, Starburst. Fortune. We could take two Starbursts, I suppose. That's I guess that's one way to do it. Until we get another card that we care about. Uh, we're keeping that all the way until gold, and I'm not kidding. Star power plus two. Your next two slots become star power points. But yeah, like every card, pretty much every single card we need. This is why it's an Exodia deck. Uh, every card we need to make this work is in the final tier. <laughs> we we need we need clean, easy chase. We need flying brush. We need strike twice. Uh, ideally, we want. Um, oh my! Wow, you died fast. Something like inspiration could be okay to keep for late. Nah. Yeah, we have two star power. So this is just like a clean payoff, and then we should theoretically kill. We might not get to go first, so I'm actually going to say screw that. I was thinking of maybe keeping it, and then so we could run like Great Spirit late or something like that. That could be okay. But actually, yeah. No, it, it, here's the thing. Like, we need every car, every slot to be like really intentional. Like, and I don't know that we can run a single card. We might have room for one card that is not part of the, the logical build. Though I also don't think we're going to get it today. The best I can really hope for is we get something very, like, that captures the spirit. 
right? I would love to... If I could get Strike twice, that would feel great. If I could get... Um, yeah, if I could just get Flying Brush and Strike twice, that alone would feel really good. That's that's a uh, skip two turns. Skip two of an enemy's turns in a row, which is just really nice. For me. Boink, boink. Yeah, I mean, you're... Uh, there's no surprises here. You're running the deck. I forgot I'm still running... Um, no. Oh, man. If we would have had the upgrade one, we would have killed right there. That would have been nice. We just need to do as much damage to Tony the Tiger as we can right now. Okay, we have another shot to keep it. Hexagram 2. I could. You're going first anyways, so I don't need to trash anything I don't want to trash. It's alright. So I'll keep Inspiration, not that it really matters. I don't think I want to keep it all the way until gold. But, uh, what is it? Great, great Spirit. It's that card that, it's like, it's, it costs two Chi, but it has Chase. It's a, costs two Chi, it gives you max HP, and I think, it has a post action that I think gives you just healing. It is a final tier card, it's a tier five card, two Chi, has Chase though. And it's like, a survivability angle card with chase, you know, is so, so good. Oh my lord, that damage! Okay, we're dead here. What the gold, man? Don't need that third hexagram. I think I say no to this. All right. That was that was disgusting. Stupid sexy snake. I don't think I want to keep you. I definitely want to break through. We got Heptasar Soul stat. It's absolutely literally just required for this build to be a thing. We can sack one. That's actually a nice clean little combo. We're going first no matter what. We don't need to trash any cards. That being said, I don't... I just don't want to run either of these. Why risk it? I don't, I'm not going to run those cards anymore. I am I am done with those. We're going to be down one star point for this, or star power for this, but I think that's okay. We should probably actually do it this way then. What do you got? Are you running metal? Earth. Yeah, you have, you have not hit purple tier yet, so... We basically, you just need to do as much damage as you can to this guy uh, before purple tier. What are you doing? I'm not saying it's wrong, but what are you doing? It's so confusing. Okay, I'm gonna run a little bit of a weekend. We do nine damage as well, which is just a nice bonus. Nice clean 20. And then we should kill on this. Yes. It's just so, like, solid. Stupid sexy snake. We are keeping all of our rerolls until gold. So this is the card, by the way, that it's all centered around. Opponent loses 4 HP, and then they can't act for a turn. Which is why I actually guild the Lily into it is kind of nice. Because we give them defense, and then we do damage that ignores their defense. Kind of nice. Wouldn't mind getting a little bit of chase, though. Uh, just the Astro Move Fly, I wouldn't mind that right now. But yeah, I don't want to move this here because this can't activate. Just making sure we have this as set up. Set up about as good as I can. 
You might go first, but I also don't know how much I'm worried about you. It's basically, do I drop inspiration? Do I drop inspiration for this? Do I drop inspiration to guarantee I go first against this? How scary is the deck? It's not not scary. But like we would drop dotted around and run um, and run great spirit instead. Like we we would pivot completely to just like trying to make a deck that means they don't play. Oh wait, are they have they found a? Their deck looks a lot different. They might have found something. It looks like it's in transition though right now. No, it's it's pretty no, it's no, it's just good. They just they found some good pieces. That's just all there is to it. Oh, but you don't have enough chi to run the card you're running. Interesting. Please live this turn. Thank you. They they are about to become scary. I'm glad I did a lot of damage to them. I'm glad they only have 21. Holai molai. I'm kind of like I I could try and adjust things to be better. This we're we're gonna take some uh, some acceptable potential losses. He's going first regardless. Yeah, I mean he went metal spirit, earth spirit. He he went for draws. Yeah, he just went for card draw, so he he should be up. Theoretically, he should be up for cultivation on me, naturally. Or up one, three? Yeah, he should be up three cultivation. No, he should be up two cultivation. Maybe even like one cultivation. What the hell? What hath you done? I guess I could trash both these and we'd be at 51 and there's a chance. Yeah. No, and then, okay, if I, if I trash both of those, he'd be up. Yeah, he'd be up probably one cultivation. Okay. All right. It's understandable, but I'm going to keep this card because I don't really want to sacrifice a guaranteed gold card as soon as I enter uh, tier five. That's kind of too hard to pass up. Because the truth is, a lot of the cards... Wait. Oh, no. I thought we went first. A lot of the cards we want... Like, so many of the cards we want are in that tier that, like, it's a pretty safe bet that we're going to get something we want. Not guarantee by any stretch. Oh, this is just... Oh, this is just going to be fun, ain't it? Yeah, that's going to... We, we, we're... We're dead as hell, my dude. Like, I don't know I don't know what else to say on this one. We should have uh, swapped Tiger to, to last, but how would we know? But he's just he's just running the quicksand deck. It's it's gonna be good. It has very good scaling. There's not much else to say there. Oh boy. Awkward. 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 Astro move gives you Ooh. Draw nine cards. Okay, come on. Finishing touch is great. Okay, we gotta move quick. Uh I'll run this. No. N no, yes. Absolutely. Uh hold on. Hold on. This doesn't work. We can't chase a chase. But I will for a sec if it has to. Incredible. Hold on. That's better for now. Uh, do I have hexagram? I don't. This is not inherently dumb. So trashing a couple cards. I'm done with that. This is good. Five thunders is a maybe. Uh, Not right now. We should just run two of those. Honestly, we should just run two of those. Okay, I think I, I probably beefed something, but this is good. I think I beefed something. 
But this is a really good pivot. Like, there's a good start to this. Uh, I need Heaven Hexagram. Or would like Heaven Hexagram. Okay. Ow. Jesus, this is painful. Two guard up is cool. But ultimately, it's just going to hurt so bad again on this loop. Yeah, I, it's just this, 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 this is so good. He golded Falling Thunder. Okay. 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 Okay, this is something. Just making sure we can't do that. Rip. Okay. Do we do damage? We barely do damage right now is the problem. We have to run it like that unless we run this, but then we have no chase there. This slowly scales up. Don't get me wrong. It slowly scales up, but it doesn't scale up that well. We need we need another attack, which means it would have to be this, which that's just not going to work unless we also run this. So I think we just run this for now. weird we do have scaling because of dotted around dotted around if if the enemy can't play it won't matter regardless but strike twice is great it's just not gonna matter that much boom boom it is worth noting we get an extra chi from that and i don't think it calculated so yeah strike twice Cool. We do play this card twice, meaning they skip two turns. So they skip this turn also. It's not going to matter that much. Okay, skip two turns. Sorry. My No, it's my turn again. Okay. Skip two turns. Sorry, it's my turn again. Another good thing about the deck is it, it kills really like hard, if that makes sense. So yeah, we take them down all the way there, which, which is great. Poison stall could be another way to go. No. I have the chief for that. And we are generating star, but we're, but we're not generating. We don't have any hexagram. What am I talking about? Uh, we're not taking that. We're not taking that. We could take this for damage, but again, we kind of just need the deck the way it is. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just bad. So, yeah, we chase a chase a chase a chase. Yeah, let's just... I think we run that. Boom. So on, on second loop through, it's boom, chase, chase, boom, boom, chase, chase. Yeah. The scaling is so low. It's so, so freaking low. But we do get to actually upgrade our final card now, which is kind of interesting. That's something. That's something kind of interesting. The first loop sucks. It's so bad. The good news is it's over quick. Is 
The bad news is I'm dead before I get to see it. Okay, maybe not? Okay. That helps a lot. Let me play. Okay, good. Very good. It's the second loop killer, dude. And then when it kills, it kills by a lot. But I have to live that first loop. I have to live that first freaking loop. Here's the thing. If I can um, get that to be gold... No. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I don't quite have it. That's pretty good. Eh, it's not that good. Wait, this upgrades this, which gives us four chi then. What does this upgrade to? Two, two. I don't need this. We chase into that. So right now we're chasing a chase, which is obviously not good. If I'm chasing a chase, I might as well do this. Oh, but it's so dumb. It's so dumb. No! I beefed it. I beefed it. I beefed it. It's okay. I beefed it. I beefed it. <laughs> I just don't have the... I'm one away. Wait, what have you done? What did you... Wait, what did you do there? Why'd you do that? I, hey, we, at least we both beefed it, right? We both beefed it. Yeah, don't not having any cheese. Painful here. Do you have scaling? You absolutely do. Stun, stun. Cool. Oh my god. Oh, I beefed it so bad. I beefed it so bad. And yet, I might still win this? That's not okay. Oh my god, how bad is your deck? How bad is your deck that I beefed it this bad and you still die? Here's the thing, I do get the damage scaling. Hunter hunting hunters, interesting. I do need this, like I had not considered... Okay, so... On second loop, we, we upgrade, we upgrade. Chase. Chase. Boom. Chase. Yeah, this is this works fine. It doesn't scale as well at all. God, you really want me to play that, huh? I'm not going to lie. I, I It's not dumb. I'm never going first. How do you have 84 call? Oh, because you've done a lot of damage. I'm never going first. Um. So upgrade, upgrade. I don't know what to say. I'm never going first. I'm glad we got to see the deck in action, though. As meme as it is. Oh man, it was. It's been real. It's been fun. I, I'm sad that we get taken down to this. Probably, this just hurts so bad. Like he, unfortunately, he has a a, a loop one kill, which is enough to ruin me. Unless, you, don't tell me I make it to Great Spirit again. I do. Well, then maybe I'm fine. If I made it to Great Spirit, then I guess I'm fine. 
Because you're not going to kill me now. You don't have scaling. Oh my god. Not only that, I'm going to do damage. Like, I'm going to do a lot of damage to you. You don't get to play the game. I'm glad we got to see it in action, man. Glad we got to see it in action. Oh, cool. I mean, that's not bad. It's just not what I'm going to do. Oi, Vey. You're going first no matter what. It's been real. It's been fun. Uh, so what, what, what would I... What would I need to make this truly work they do get a turn where they can play you, to you know the only thing that would actually make this there is a world in which this is un like unplayable by the other people and that is if i uh that one card that lets you draw from a, uh, a sub sub class outside of yours if we could get um miru formation outside of our subclass that would be the way. And that's but that's about it. He scales like a son of a gun. But I do a lot of my damage does go through his armor, which is pretty good. He gets to play one card. He gets to play one card every time I go through my entire deck. And we're doing 14, we're doing 28 damage when we play that. He gets to play one card, and now I get to go the whole th the whole way again here. Now I get to go the whole way. He plays one card. I get to play my entire deck. You play one card, I play my deck. You play one card, I play my deck. Uh, I do not like at all. There's no way to run it. That is so many of these that are irrelevant. Opponent skips a card. I like I could, but it's just not. What the hell? These are all already top tier, anyways. Uh, again, we might as well keep these. God, this is so cool, but I just like it's so all it's so cool and so unplayable. If I had, you know what would change this a lot? Is if I had Heaven Hexagram, I could ditch Inspiration. I could ditch Inspiration, play this here, and then I could play an extra card here that actually has value, but I haven't found it. That's the that's the final piece of the uh, Exodia puzzle, is Heaven Hexagram. It's two Chi, or wait, one Chi, one Hexagram chase? I feel like you probably have what you need to kill me, right? I feel like you got... he He's a turn... The only thing that, that beats this is a turn one kill. If you somehow did not get it... I guess I'd be surprised. He did not get it. So again, the important thing. Do I make it to Great Spirit? I do. He loses. If I make it to Great Spirit on my second loop, he dies. That's just, that's the whole thing. Okay, we're not going to kill off that, but we're going to do quite well. Uh, Inspiration gold is great. Not that it really matters. Everything that we have is golden already. It's opening up an interesting world where we might be able to run a, sec a separate continuous. That I didn't think was going to be possible. So upgrade the next five cards you play. One, two, three, four, five. No, we can't. Unless, unless that is better. 
When it, no, it's whenever you're attacked. So, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need we need all those to get up to the ideal gold version of this. I I don't know if we win or not. If he got it's it really just comes down to did you get something to do about twenty more damage to me on the first loop? If you did, I lose. If you didn't, I win. That's really just it. And I'm glad we got to see the Exodia deck in action. Like there's there's nothing more I can do without rolling the better card. Did we? Did you do it? It looked like you found a little bit more damage. It looked like you found a little bit more damage. Did you? Did you find a little bit more damage? I don't think so. No playing for you. You didn't kill me on loop one, so now you never get to play the game. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Sheer degeneracy. Sheer degeneracy. It's... I was, I'm was. i trying to figure out, like, is it counterable? Uh... I mean, he could have run... He was pretty... He was... The thing is, I think he needed... If he... He knew he didn't have the extra tools. Like, if he didn't change his damage and anything like that. What can you really do? What can you really do in this situation? Well, first of all, cross your fingers and hope that I just don't get this build. Second, the thing you can do is cross your fingers and hope I don't get Heaven Hexagram, which would have made this the perfect version of this build. This was... Like, let me stress that this wasn't even the perfect Exodia. This was about about perfect Exodia. Almost... Almost everything went right. We found a million finishing touches, which is cool, but ultimately didn't matter that much. I think I may probably would have got more value just running the um, a different continuous, but I also just didn't really care at this point because I just it felt really fun and clean that we just kept upgrading and, and seeing the golden tier, the golden tier of the uh, Heptasar Soul stat is just so fun. Like, I just love that. Oh, my goodness. Like, how often... How often do you get to see the gold of that card? How often do you get to see the gold of Heptasar Soulstat? It was doing 14 damage, and we were casting it twice, so it's 28 damage that is unblockable, unavoidable. It's... It is opponent loses 14 health. It's not do 14 damage. So it's unavoidable damage. The counter to it... I don't know. You would have had... He would have had to run, um... Uh, what is it? The the card that makes it so you s the opponent skips a card, it uh, it is in his faction. You know, it's a um, have to start pavilion. What am I doing? Where's the card? Um, beep, 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 beep. he could have run astro move side uh, at a tactical location, and it could have thwarted me pretty heavily. Literally, uh, skipping my great spirit, and it was it was to be clear, it was possible. It was in position four, uh, so him going first and having Astro move side, if he would have put, again, maybe he didn't get it, but if he had Astro move side and he put it in position three, that would skip my Great Spirit, which uh, would not only drop me a chase, but it would mean that I did not play it on my first loop, meaning I couldn't heal from it on my second, which means I'd lose. Like... A, a, a proper placement of Astro Move side could have uh, could have stopped that one for sure. Uh, alternatively, a quicker kill. You know, there there are turn four kills in the game. There's turn five kills in the game. Both of those uh, beat this build. But alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for roguelikes and more typically every single day. More Yishian as long as you guys continue to support it. And I will see you next time. Bye.